my whole idea has been making nest boxes from all kinds of pieces of wood. Most um, nest box plans are based on going to the wood yard and getting this size of timber, which is 15 centimetres wide, 20 centimetres top to when it's thick. An old fence, if you're getting wood from a building site. This is fence post, old fence post. This size is ideal for blue tits. That again is, is blue tits, great tits. This size is a hundred um, millimetres wide and that gets into some great tit territory. They, they like slightly wider box. The, the 15 centimetre wide timber, the, some of the warblers with a hole or an open front. This is like 20 centimetre deep and suitable for lots of birds. One of the, the benefits of using scrap wood, recycled wood, a, a much greater distance from the entrance to the, the floor is a huge benefit to many birds. This piece of extra wood that's added is for the nailing purposes because if, if you want the entrance at two metres, which would be up there, you're standing on the ground and you're just able to put a couple of nails in and that's the job done. The deeper box, you get into a nest box for starlings and you know, further down you're getting into kind of jackdaws and using all kinds of wood, wood that's for recycling, um, 65 millimetres wide, which is only suitable for blue tits. Joining two pieces of fence posts together makes a quite a heavy box, but when, when you're kneeling onto thicker wood, you don't need to be having the, the sides uh, going all the way to there. The, you can just be kneeling on the edge. So, kneeling the four pieces together with a piece of wood, you can be making a much uh, bigger box for raptors, perhaps owls. All about just using recycling timber. It's not this uh, nest box is using the, the 15 centimetre the timber, but if you've got lots of scrap wood like this to use the a nailing board, this is using an old piece of greenhouse. This demonstrates how you can make a box much bigger. Some birds like a much bigger box. Another way to uh, make nest boxes and using up old pieces of wood is where the, the, the boarding is nailed onto the backboard from below and from above. 65 um, millimeters all the ways and gives a nice size of box. I'm going for the same technique where the, the roof and the floor are nailed onto the back, suitable for the uh, even jackdaws. So it's quite a quite big bird to use an S box like this. This size of box, which is very shallow that way, seems to suit the kind of flycatcher types. The entrance on the side. It doesn't matter for the birds. There are bigger boxes. To, if you don't want to be going up a ladder to hang up a, a box for an owl or a raptor, if in fact you have a, a good solid post, I mean, you put the nail at the bottom and then actually swing the whole thing up so the entrance is now three metres up and you can be standing on the ground. Some birds like desk boxes that are more horizontal, they like to the wagtail type. A bit bigger, possibly would suit blackbirds, or would be good good for raptors, owls, but also if it's at ground level, would you know, at, at a pond, would be suitable for ducks and other birds like that. This entire box is made from fence posts. Even the nest box made from uh, chipboard for flooring. The box has to have a roof. If you're using small pieces of wood for the roof, you need to be using something that keeps the water out. This is a bit of tent, a dinghy, old dinghy, a large a, a 25 litre drum, paint pins, so you can almost cover it with stones and sticks so it doesn't look so garish. A clothes washing bottle, a beach ball, paddling pool, which gives you a lot of roof covering, dairy birds. Um, using the old milk um, bottle. This one is in an old compost bag and you could cover them all with branches to, so they don't look so unsightly. 
This is uh, from a, an old folder. Amazingly, these last for years. Not everyone wants to nail the, the box onto a tree, so you may want to use some kind of material to stretch. This is normal tree time material. Even an average tree might need uh, a metre all the way around, so you've got two metres to, to, to cover. This uh, stuff is called Easy Tie. It is a sort of stretchy material and it's actually quite easy to tie onto the, the tree. It will, the tree will go to push it out. Cheapest is the builder's uh, dump course. It's actually stretch, so it definitely is cheaper by a long way. The nail is certainly the easiest way to hang nest boxes if you're mm. hanging lots of them. Pallets are a great source of wood for making nest boxes. These are typical lightweight pallets. The pallet is, is dismantled. It's worth trying to remove these two pieces of timber. This tool is a great thing for, for doing that. Or a big wrecking bar or even a hacksaw to just to cut through the nails. Well, for the nailing board, you cut it there and then cut it there. You end up with the part made box. I've, I've made the, the hole in the, over the front end of the box. Very important to have a little bit of a roof on the, the top because the, the, the water can seep in and it can be, end up being sort of damp and the bird wouldn't use it. This is the, the, the middle of the water, the same. Cut it. There's nails on both sides, but with care, cut it at an angle, and you've got two nice sturdy boxes. I, mean, I prefer the, the wire because it's so much easier to, to undo. Nails put in at an angle, they must be galvanised. Very important to bore a hole that's quite a bit wider than the nail, and it needs to go all the way into the wood. Very important thing with the, the nest boxes when you're making them is to pre-bore all the bits at the edge very easily splits. Not all birds need a nest box. A piece of wood like this in an open shed, either this way or that way, another way of making a, a, a site for blackbirds and thrushes is to make something like this. It can be any shape where, with a, a roof and a floor uh, and pushed into a slightly open hedge. It doesn't work in a, it's like a loss of cy cypress hedge or the land eye. Just pushed into the hedge and uh, left there. When I'm making my nest boxes, I generally do outside. Even in the middle of winter, I get a nice day. I've got a, a, my workbench and wheels and I wheel it out. And uh, I just run a, a power cable from the house. Nothing sophisticated. It's just so much nicer because the, the birds are all going about and even in the winter you get the odd butterfly flying around and but it's not necessary to have a fancy workshop to make nest boxes. Just a simple workbench and uh, an old table and uh, you know, you have a few tools, saw, jigsaw, drill, uh, you're in business.